Imagine embarking on a journey unlike any other, a mission that would redefine what's possible for humanity. Voyager 2. Launched in 1977, this compact probe was created in a world before digital technology, powered by vision and ingenuity. Voyager 2's purpose went far beyond photographing Jupiter and Saturn. It was designed for a sweeping exploration of the outer planets. Using Jupiter's gravity as a slingshot, it reached Saturn, then made history as the only spacecraft to visit Uranus and Neptune, revealing these remote worlds up close for the first time. For years, Voyager 2's discoveries shaped nearly all our knowledge of these distant planets, with data beamed back across unimaginable distances. Yet, its mission didn't end there. Voyager 2 pressed onward, venturing far beyond its original goals. After its Neptune flyby in 1989, it set its sights on the solar system's edge, a frontier marked not by planets but by the sun's influence. The mission evolved, shifting focus from planetary encounters to the mysteries of interstellar space. Voyager 2 became our trailblazer, venturing into a region of space we had only imagined, its new quest to pinpoint where our solar system truly ends and the vastness of the galaxy begins. For decades it sampled the environment around it, sending faint signals that took hours to reach us back on Earth. Crafted with technology from the 1970s, this extraordinary probe stands as a symbol of human persistence and wonder. Voyager 2 is more than just a spacecraft. It carries a message from Earth, a golden record sharing our story with the cosmos. Its odyssey mirrors our own, a reflection of our relentless urge to discover and reach beyond the horizon. As it crossed into the unknown, Voyager 2 was on the verge of its greatest revelation. The adventure of Voyager 2 is still unfolding. So what do we mean by the edge of the solar system? It's not the orbit of Pluto or the Kuiper Belt, it's much farther out, defined by the sun's influence. The sun constantly blows a wind of charged particles, creating a vast bubble called the heliosphere. This bubble acts as our solar system's force field, separating us from the interstellar medium, a thin soup of gas, dust, and cosmic rays from other stars. Inside the heliosphere, we're under the sun's protection. Outside, we're in true interstellar space. The boundary isn't a simple line, it's a complex region with several layers. First comes the termination shock, where the solar wind suddenly slows down. Beyond that is the heliosheath, a turbulent zone where solar wind and interstellar media mix. The final edge is the heliopause, the point where the sun's wind is balanced by the winds from other stars. Crossing the heliopause means leaving the sun's direct influence. Before Voyager 2, we could only guess what this region was like. We had models but no direct measurements. Voyager 2 was our chance to finally get real data, to find out what truly lies at the edge. It was our first probe to dip a toe into interstellar waters. The edge of the solar system is not a place you can see but a boundary you can measure. Voyager 2 was about to show us what's really out there. On November 5, 2018, after more than 41 years and 11 billion miles, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause. Its message took over 16 hours to reach Earth. I'm out. The data showed a sudden drop in solar wind particles and a spike in galactic cosmic rays, proof it had entered interstellar space. This was a huge scientific milestone. Voyager 1 had crossed earlier, but its plasma instrument had failed. Voyager 2's was still working, giving us direct measurements. It revealed the boundary was much sharper than expected, a clean break, not a gradual transition. In less than a day, Voyager 2 went from inside the sun's bubble to outside. The plasma just outside was colder and denser than predicted, suggesting the interstellar medium is compressed against our heliosphere. Voyager 2 also found the interstellar magnetic field is stronger than we thought, shaping and interacting with our solar bubble. Both Voyagers found this, even at different locations, showing our solar system is actively pushing against its galactic environment. These discoveries revolutionized our understanding of our place in the galaxy. Abstract theories became concrete facts. Voyager 2's crossing turned the unknown into the known. It was a triumph for science and for human curiosity. Many imagine the edge of the solar system as a fiery wall or glowing curtain, but reality is far stranger. If you were riding Voyager 2, you wouldn't see anything change. The stars and darkness would look the same. The boundary is invisible, defined by particles and magnetic fields, not by light. Even in the denser interstellar medium, space is still a near-perfect vacuum, just a few particles per cubic centimeter. The idea of a visible wall is a misconception. The transition is a change in the physical environment, not a visual spectacle. 
another myth temperature. Scientists reported plasma near the heliopause was incredibly hot, sparking images of a cosmic furnace. But in space, hot means fast-moving particles, not heat you can feel. There are so few particles you'd feel nothing. The physics of deep space is counterintuitive. Hot doesn't mean hot, and dense doesn't mean dense. Voyager 2's journey helps correct these misconceptions. It reminds us the universe isn't scaled to human senses. The heliopause is a stark, invisible, and physically strange boundary. It's more fascinating than any sci-fi fantasy. Voyager 2 showed us the truth is often more profound than fiction. The real edge is invisible, but its effects are dramatic. So what did Voyager 2 really reveal? The answer lies in cosmic rays and magnetic fields. Voyager 2 found an unexpected magnetic buffer zone at the edge, a region where the suns and interstellar magnetic fields tangle, creating a porous, dynamic boundary. Some particles from inside leak out, while some from outside sneak in. This showed the edge isn't a simple wall, but a living, mixing frontier. Voyager 2 also challenged our ideas about the heliosphere's shape. Data suggests it might be more spherical or even croissant-shaped rather than comet-like. The edge is complex, messy, and full of surprises. Voyager 2 forced us to redraw our maps of the solar system. It revealed a turbulent, ever-changing boundary with its own weather and physics. The probes didn't just confirm our ideas, they uncovered a new layer of reality. The edge of our solar system is far more interesting than we ever imagined. Why does any of this matter? Because the heliosphere is our shield. It protects us from galactic cosmic rays, tiny, high-speed bullets that could make life on Earth impossible. Without the heliosphere, radiation would bombard our planet, damaging DNA and threatening life. Understanding the heliosphere is crucial for knowing how life survives and thrives here. It's also vital for future space exploration. As we dream of sending astronauts to Mars and beyond, we need to know what dangers await outside our bubble. Voyager 2 is mapping the hazards of interstellar space. The heliosphere isn't just an abstract concept, it's our cosmic cocoon. Studying it helps us protect our planet and plan for the future. Voyager 2's journey is about more than exploration, it's about survival. It teaches us what it takes for a planet to be a safe harbor for life. The edge of the solar system is the gatekeeper to the galaxy, and Voyager 2 is our scout on the frontier. Voyager 2's story is about more than science, it's about us. It reflects our insatiable curiosity, our drive to explore the unknown. In the 1970s, engineers built a machine to outlast their own careers, sending it on a journey that would span generations. They attached a golden record, a message in a bottle for the cosmos. This wasn't just science, it was hope. Voyager 2 embodies the spirit that drove humans to cross continents and oceans and to reach for the stars. Every bit of data it sends back is a victory for human intellect and ambition. It connects us to the universe's grand story. Voyager 2 belongs to all of humanity, a shared heritage for anyone who's ever looked up and wondered. It elevates our perspective, reminding us of what we can achieve together. Voyager 2 shows us the best of ourselves, curious, hopeful, and brave. Its journey is a mirror of our own quest for meaning. What's next for Voyager 2? Its journey isn't over. It will drift through the galaxy for eons, a silent ambassador of Earth. Its power will fade, but its legacy will endure. The data it sent will fuel discoveries for decades. Voyager 2 has opened a new field interstellar heliophysics. Future probes will build on its foundation, exploring the unknown with even greater precision. Voyager 2 has passed the torch to a new generation of explorers. Its discoveries are a crucial step in humanity's cosmic journey. It's our scout for the interstellar age, mapping the dangers and wonders beyond our solar system. The story of Voyager 2 is a story of beginnings, not endings. It started as a mission to the planets and became a mission to the stars. As we look to the future, returning to the moon, Mars, and beyond, we stand on Voyager's shoulders. Voyager 2 reminds us, the universe is more mysterious than we imagine, and the only way to know is to go.